Hi everybody, it's Brad with the Big Family Homestead, and you know that old saying that goes, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy? Well, it's true. I'll explain. Let's get this going. Yes, indeed, it is true. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. And I'm gonna get to that in just a minute, but before I do, I wanted to say thank you to all of you guys out there who watch the videos and subscribe the videos and share the videos around. It truly does help our family out and, and we are absolutely humbled and grateful that you take the time to comment and you take the time to help us figure out all these issues. Because in all honesty, this we're, we're new at this. I mean, the homesteading thing, we're in, a, we're in a very urban area, we're only on one acre and we're trying to maximize your uh, level of involvement so that we don't make mistakes. Um, so for that, we are truly, truly grateful. All the comments and, you know, it, it just really is a nice thing and it's, it's really great and we're very appreciative. So if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. It is absolutely true. Um, as you know, we've got our new cow, Harriet, and she's out terrorizing the goats in the yard. They have not actually gotten to be buddies yet. Uh, she'll go after them if they get too close, but no, no close calls in terms of uh, medical emergencies for the goats yet, but uh, hopefully they just get to be buddies. But we've been building this run-in shed for Harriet, and we've been making some silly mistakes along the way, mostly, uh, most I think mostly because we have been rushed really, really bad. Uh, one of the silly ones, for example, is the high point is supposed to be on the back of the shed, not on the front of the shed. Mm. Yeah, it's been raining and we've quickly figured out why you do that, because there's muck all over the front of the area where the cow goes in and out. So we've got a solution for that and we're basically going to put a gutter on there. Um, because I had actually planned on um, putting a rain catchment system on there as her water. I'm going to basically catch the rain water off the roof, run it through a filter, and into a reservoir that feeds her watering system. So that, that was a goal I was going to do anyway. It's just now I have to hurry up because it's got to be on the front of the shed. Uh, regardless, we're, we're not done with the shed and we were halfway uh, shingled up uh, when Mama made the declaration that she was not happy at all because um, she didn't really have a way to tie the goat up or the goat <laughs> the cow up to milk her and she would move around and it was really really getting difficult and frustrating for mama to milk Harriet so we had to build a stanchion and I'm gonna show you what we did right here uh, and you tell me if you think it's good enough she says it's, it's working very well and I'm just wondering if there's any way we can kind of tighten up uh, maybe keep her in there just a little bit tighter um, and for those of you out there who have wondered and, and were worried about whether or not we have anchored this building, yes, it's anchored. We've got, I believe it's eight four foot sections of rebar that go through the base of it down into the ground. So that is covered. Uh, but let us know in the comments section if, if you think this stanchion is good enough. And, and well, that's really it for the video today. I'm going to try and get the next one done, the part two of the shed done tomorrow um hopefully because we got to finish it first i can't film it if it's you know blah blah blah, blah. you know yada yada yippee skippy anyway that's it guys i'm brad with the big family homestead you guys have an amazing day